If you die, can I have your channel? You can indeed. <laughs> this is where we're staying tonight. Anonymous town. And why is it bad windy? It's not quite the pleasant experience we were expecting. There's a puddle under my tent. Ah, oh, slipped and fell on the wet rock. Wise words when you're standing in a place like this. Look over here. This is Honister Pass, up in the Lake District, near the Honister Slate Mine. And if you're the kind of person who really doesn't like driving on incredibly steep roads, I recommend you do not come up here because the road up here is quite steep and scary. <laughs> this is a very steep and scary road. But it's today's starting location for my first ever camp in the Lake District. But I'm not on my own because I am here with Mr. Camping himself, Paul Messner. How do you do? Where are we going? What's happening? We're heading up towards Haystacks. Um, hopefully, we'll get some cracking views over Buttermere. And hopefully this weather <laughs> uh, keeps the rain away a little bit. Can you say hello to David Doyle? Hello David, how are you doing? David will love that. Paul is I don't know, the go-to guy if you need to know about camping equipment or you're just generally interested in camping all around all around England. Go and check out Paul's channel if you're into camping, but uh, it's going to be my guide for today here in the Lakes. Hopefully I'll keep you alive. <laughs> See, now that you've mentioned that, I'm somewhat nervous. Yeah, I haven't died yet, so it's always the first time for everything though, isn't it? Yeah. If you die, can I have your channel? You can indeed. <laughs> wind has picked up as we approach what can only be described as the gates of Mordor. Go on Bilbo! Cast it into the fire! This is like something from Lord of the Rings up here. There we go, this is where we're staying tonight. Start, start, start digging the top bunk. <laughs> hey sheep! I'm trying to talk to the local sheep but I don't think they understand my accent. Yeah. Can't go anywhere with a celebrity, they're just <laughs> bumping into fans up in the mountains. So I'm over here with both cameras. Paul goes across, abandons me to get over on my own. This is YouTube gold. Apparently when Paul got started he had uh, what do you have a, a you, your polite YouTube voice? It was, yeah, it was like Queen's English. It was, What's your... Hello, my name's Paul, and today I'm going to be making a fire. You know, that kind of thing. And it just... I'm going to use that as the intro to the video. <laughs> really, really, really wooden and yeah. tense all of the time. Was that because you you weren't you felt the pressure of the camera being there? And no, I just I just wasn't thought that's why I had had to be done. Wasn't cut out or comfortable with it. Yeah. One of the things that you just. The more you do it, the more second nature. Becomes. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. If that's a view. What are we looking at? It's Buttermere, the closest lake. You got Crumwick Water, the next one along. We, we've got the Butter Crane Centre. I don't know if it's quite as good as that. It's starting to rain. Regretting my choice of shorts now.
Paul, thanks for taking me to amazing places in the Lake District. <laughs> You're welcome. Here we are, campsite. This is called the anonymous, anon Paul, what's it called? Anonymous Tarn. And why is it significant? It's the resting place of Alfred, Alfred. See, I can't say, <laughs> I can't say Alfred. You can't say anonymous. Alfred Wainwright. So somewhere around here is where his ashes are. It's not a bad final resting place. Yeah. Well, Paul's just after very confidently saying before we walk around here, this is where we're camping. Might be a bit buggy. <laughs> well, I've got, you know, I've got a, a bathtub floor in the tent just to put it to the test. <laughs> Not quite the pleasant experience we were expecting. Absolutely not. <laughs> I should probably put on some trousers and some waterproofs. Whoa. <coughs> well, there's not much to see. Paul seems to have survived. <laughs> Just. Just. I've got puddles of water in my tent though. You've got puddles in there? Yeah. Yeah, so there's like puddles there, there's puddles there to the... There's <laughs> an actual puddle beside your tent. One millimetre of water, that is, apparently. There's now a river going from Paul's tent down and then underneath mine. Well, I've got some good news for you. I've got something that'll take your mind off the water. It's a packet of tray bags that you can only get in Northern Ireland. Oh, brilliant. These are 15s. They contain cherries, digestive biscuits, condensed milk, coconut. Not a good start. They do contain... Oh, it's got marshmallows and everything. Yeah. It's like leftovers from a <laughs> cake shop, isn't it? Different. <laughs> different. Different. Paul is being diplomatic, but I will take different. <laughs> Thanks, I'll eat the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. I expect to see an empty, empty tray in the morning. Yeah. slipped and fell on the wet rock. Five minutes later, my arm has stopped tingling and I can use my fingers. I think I've just bruised it. Slightly disappointing, as I thought. I was finally going to get to use my Garmin InReach Mini to call for help. <laughs> Having my uh, fire pot bolognese. Mm. That's probably the nicest food I've eaten 
while in a tent in the pouring rain with wind gusting past to 30 40 miles an hour. I just touched the floor. Hear that? There's a puddle under my tent! Survive the night. Two sounds I could hear during the night were a tent flapping and some snoring. Oh, I've got bigger, but I've got rucksacks under my eyes. Never mind the bags. Yeah, but it was. Yeah. And when you when you do this, actually, even in crappy weather like we've had, it still gives you. But, and you're still away from the grind of the day job and all that kind of stuff. Wow, wow. Look at that. Is that Buttermere? Yeah. Come on, look at this. What is this? Stop throwing orange pins in the Lake District! <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. A go hot steak roll, courtesy of Cuisine de Mesner. Mmm. <laughs> it's Paul. Uh, in all honesty, what do you think of my chest harness? Louise thinks it makes me look like an idiot. I'm wearing a bum bag. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really come in. Us all packed up, ready to go. My first experience up camping right, yeah. on haystacks, haystacks, up in the Lake District. Paul has been absolutely amazing. Views up here have been stunning. Thank you so much for, uh, for showing me this place. Along. And if you, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Yeah. And if you haven't yet, go and check out Paul's channel. I think he's going to have his own version of this trip, so definitely go and watch that. Subscribe to him if you haven't, and feel free to like and subscribe on here too if you enjoyed this video. But I'm going to hike down now, and uh, I'm going to find a toilet because <laughs> there's no toilets up here, and I ate quite a lot of food last night. Why would I choose that to be the ending for the video? <laughs> uh, should have got my trowel out. Yeah, this is why I should script the endings of videos. And get a thumbnail or what an option of a thumbnail. Yeah. There we go. Variety of expressions. So this is, we, had a, we had a terrible face. time face. 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 Scared face. Stupid face.